Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for uh, the week of September 2nd. Uh, you start with this not for you card and this leg up card. I feel like this should say there's something better for you. You know, it's like the leg up card says clearly uh, you're getting a leg up. And the interesting thing um, about this card is it always reminds me of the bear in the um, Lenormand card reading system. And the bear is, there's obviously a bear, and I'll show you in a minute on this card, but uh, the bear is all about kind of like learning or education or getting, you know, getting, it can represent kind of getting a leg up as well. Uh, it can represent like an overbearing energy as well. Uh, you know, it can represent a lot of things, but um, you know, that, that kind of is like popping into my head for you that um, you know, that's almost like, you know, I feel that, that uh, Lenormand energy that you could be like learning a lot or you could be getting a leg up from people uh, this week, which would be nice, right? You know, especially if this is like work or business related, uh, there could be some sort of bo uh, like boost in what you are doing. Uh, but let's see, you have the Page of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. So the Page of Wands is all about, you know, kind of like being excited for something new or following your enthusiasm. And so I think, you know, as always, it's a great time for Pisces to follow their enthusiasm, to do things that, <laughs> that's not working at all, uh, you know, to do things that make them feel excited and enthusiastic. And, you know, that's what I would do with the Page of Wands. Uh, the Page of Wands is also about starting a new adventure, and I think it would be an amazing time for you to start a new adventure. Uh, you show up as yourself here. Whenever you show up as yourself, you know, puts you in a position of power and strength and allows you to get what you want from a reading. Uh, he has this boat behind him, and the boat behind him on the King of Cups kind of represents exploring into the unknown. So I think it would be a great time for you to explore the unknown or step into the unknown, uh, especially with, you know, Pluto. Um, you know, depending on when you were born, depending on what your rising sign is you know pluto could be could be in your in your 12th house um you know if, you know especially if uh, aquarius like you know for me i'm an aquarius rising right so aquarius is like part of it is my 12th house so it will be moving into my 12th house and for, and for some of you maybe you know you're gonna have to look at your own birth chart and see where pluto is it might already be in your 12th house depending on your chart um and what i would say here is that you know that 12th house activity can you know be a lot about exploring the unknown and i think a lot a lot of people worry about um, you know Pluto in the twelfth, and I want to talk about this because you're going to be dealing with this for like twenty years <laughs> uh, at least. Uh, people think of Pluto in the twelfth as like being depressed sometimes. Or, you know, it can bring about depression. But I think, like, one of the best things you can do with Pluto in your 12th, and it'll officially be moving into Aquarius in November, is to explore the unknown, is to kind of learn things, you know, explore those, like, deep hidden parts of whatever it is that you're interested about. You know, it could have to do with your psyche or your mentality, but it could also have to do with just things that you're interested in. And Pluto is all about power. So, you know, you can gain a lot of power and get a leg up in life by exploring the unknown. And that's why I would definitely, based off this reading encourage you to start now even though you know again for some of you it's in your 12th right now for some of you it's going to be going to be in your 12th you're gonna have to look and see where it is but that's what i would be working on uh with you have the three of pentacles three of pentacles definitely says teamwork makes a dream work with that leg up card i do feel that this week specifically the week of september 2nd there could be either help or assistance from other people or there is a person who's doing something to kind of lift you up or that is, you know, it could be a person that is helping lift you up. Um, and again, I want to stress that this could just be something someone says, right? It, you know, someone could say, like give you an offhanded compliment or could just randomly say something to you. And I, you know, I would pay attention. I always like to remind people as well to pay attention to those things. And, you know, if you have your antenna up, right? Like if you're going into this week preparing to hear something, then you will hear it, you know, but if you ignore it, then you won't. So again, I I would pay attention. It feels like something very subtle. You know, again, I don't necessarily feel this is you like working together with a person. I think that this is a situation where someone could be saying something like, oh, you know what might be a good idea? Like as if, if you did this, or maybe you should do that, right? And I'm not saying you have to take the advice, but you know, if you hear something like that this week, I think that it could lead to a lot of success. Right next to it, we have the Nine of Pentacles. And again, it's interesting, you know, this week, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure it's on the first that Pluto officially hits 29 degrees of Capricorn. It's been at zero degrees on the cusp of Aquarius and Capricorn. Uh, that 29 degrees is very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> until uh until we get into November 
and, but what I would say is, you know, there, you, this week, you know, there could be something about that, like something coming to light. And, you know, I think that Pluto at 29 degrees is going to expose a lot of stuff. Um, but for you on a personal level, it could be good stuff. Uh, with the Page of Wands, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, major focus on your resources at this time. We don't see a ton of money cards in this reading, but you do have the Four of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles, and I really do feel this reading is kind of talking about money in general, even though we only have like three uh, money cards so far. So a lot of you are focused on your resources. I feel like you're feeling more motivated this week to work as well. So, you know, again, that could be very helpful for your finances. Uh, with the King of Cups, you have the Lovers. Uh, you have the king and queen of cups here, so for those of you looking for a connection, there definitely could be a very strong connection uh, that's coming in for you, um, and so definitely something to think about. Uh, I think that the king and queen of cups complement each other very nicely, so I would say that it's probably a person that complements you, um, you know, that complements you very well is what I'd say, but there is some sort of difference, and I'm trying to pick up on it. <laughs> that's why I'm hesitating here, Pisces, so for those of you that want love, and again, this first week of love is amazing uh, for Pisces for love. I mean, this first week of September. So, you know, I if you are looking, I would definitely get out there, uh, meet new people, do all that other good stuff. Uh, with the Three of Pentacles, you have the Page of Cups, yes. And, and again, Three of Pentacles is an amazing card for love because it's like two people who are working towards a common goal or two people who want to, uh, you know, create something of quality. Three of Pentacles is quality work. So this is definitely a quality person. There's still some sort of difference. Like, I'm wondering if you, like, you know, it's like sometimes I think we, um, you know, obviously I think everybody has a certain type, right? And so this person, like, I feel like you're very similar, but also this person is like not your usual type or something like that. I don't know. We'll look into it. Uh, next in the area of what's coming in for you, you have this Immerse card. Yes. Like I said at the beginning of the reading, I, I think it would be an amazing time for you to like really immerse yourself into things that you care about. You're a Pisces. You have the ability to dive deep. King of Cups says, dive deep. He is sitting in the middle of the ocean. I was picking up on this in the beginning of the reading. There's something about this reading about you, like not just skimming the surface, especially if you're learning something new or if you're like building a new business or if you're starting a new relationship. I feel like this is saying immerse yourself. Uh, you have this reframe card. Also interesting, you know, this reframe card. Because I feel for a lot of you, um, you know, well, let's put it this way: for your financial success, I think that the, you know things maybe have not been going your way, or it's been kind of like a little bit more of a struggle. I feel that if you reframe the things that you're working on, if you look at them from all, you know, whatever you're working on from all the different perspectives, uh, that's really where you're going to find success. Also, with the Pluto energy, you know, officially moving back into Capricorn, and again, if you are like, you know, again. My 12th house, part of my 12th house is in Capricorn. Part of it is in Aquarius if I don't use whole house, right? And, you know, if I just use the regular old chart. And so, again, you're going to have to look at your own chart. And depending when you were born, it could be in your 12th. And I really got this at the beginning of the reading. Something about you, you know, getting the benefits of it. Again, it's like, it's funny to me, like when I read stuff, you know, when I read, you know, just random astrology websites or whatever, and they talk about Pluto, Pluto on the 12th, it's like none of them talk about any of the positives of Pluto on the 12th. So, one of the big positives is this right here being able to like dive deep look into the mysteries and find like find other answers for the things that you're working on in life and like really really exploring things to a deep degree if you do that you will be very very successful again Pluto is power I always like to remind people astrology is not a prison sentence either if we work with the energy we get a major reward so again this is where the rewards are going to come from I would explore things uh, that you are interested in uh, you have the Knight of Swords, Four of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, we're still in the Mercury Retrograde Shadow, so I would say with the Knight of Swords, like, no rushing things. I, I, oh, you know, I always look at this as a card of getting a second opinion as well, um, especially if you're going to be spending money on something, uh, then I think getting a second opinion would be a great idea. Uh, this could also represent kind of like looking for a better deal or, you know, especially if you're like purchasing like a piece of equipment, you know, for your business or, you know, if you're just thinking about making a large purchase, it could be anything, then I would really kind of, um, you know, kind of look into the details and I get that energy here. I do also feel that there could be a person who's like rushing in very quickly into your life. And I'm not sure where that's going yet. <laughs> so uh, I don't know, we'll look at it in a minute.
Uh, you have the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is holding on too tightly to the past. Again, the Nine of Swords could be a person who's holding on too tightly to you right here. And uh, also Six of Cups, Death Card. You know, it kind of looks to me like there could be a person who's trying to communicate with you. You know, I, I, take it how it resonates. Do, it, do with it what you will. Um, you know, it kind of looks to me like you're over it, obviously, with the Death Card. So, you know, if you don't want to have your feelings hurt, or if you don't want to bring up those old feelings, it might be a good time to block and move on or do whatever you got to do. Uh, you have the Four of Pentacles, and then you have the Nine of Pentacles. And what's popping into my head for you here is that like you're living in the Four of Pentacles, but you could be living in the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is heaven on earth, right? Nine of Pentacles is about creating your own little slice of heaven on earth. So I feel this week, the universe is asking you to like immerse yourself in the beliefs, the habits, the ideas, the uh, the learning, the exploration of what can bring you to this place. You know, the Nine of Pentacles, being uh, wealthy and abundant and successful. And that doesn't have to mean money either. You know, that could be any, any type of abundance that you're trying to attract into your life. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles has a couple of, you know, kind of suggestions on how you can do this. Number one is the snail. That's right here. The snail wears its home on its back and it's all about your environment. So a lot of you could need to, maybe you need to clean up your environment, meaning the energy, the people, the places, the things that you surround yourself with. Maybe you need more positive influences. You're going to have to figure it out, right? Uh, we have the falcon right here, and definitely, I would definitely focus this week on whatever you're working on. I think, I, I'm pretty sure I said this to you in your last reading, but I get this feeling that, you know, like one hour of just deep focus on what, like one project that you're working on will be better than eight hours where you're just like all over the place, right? So it's like one hour will equal eight hours if you are focused. So, you know, I think that the things that are important, I would come up with some sort of focus. I would come up with like some sort of daily routine. And, you know, this is the thing, is that this this doesn't have to be like very complicated either. It's like, you know, my channel changed. Like I was stuck at 40,000 subscribers for years and like other readers were blowing past me. And you know, my life really changed when I came up with a routine, right? Uh, every single morning I wake up, I do four readings no matter what. Every single morning I learn one new thing about YouTube and I, you know, implement it into my YouTube channel. You all see all the experiments that I run on this channel, right? And so I, I try and learn new, one new thing every single day. That's part of my routine, right? I, I wake up, I pretty much watch one video, I start my videos, you know, and I go from there. So implementing a routine uh, can be very simple. It takes me like an hour and a half to, you know, do these readings when I do four. And then, you know, obviously doing the editing and things like that takes longer, but, you know, it really isn't that much time, right? It's like a very short period of time. And I feel that, you know, that's what I'm talking about, focus. Like when I'm doing this, I am only focused on this. All distractions are completely shut off, right? And so I think that like one hour of focus would be very good for you. Even if you just need to come up with like a simple routine to start, you know, that's what I would do. With the Knight of Swords, you have the Justice card. Yeah, someone could be coming in for justice or to bring justice or an apology. I kind of do feel that with the Justice card. Uh, you know, this could also be karmic correction as well. So they could be, you know, if this is a past person, they could be trying to correct the karma. Uh, you know, like I said, I, I really feel it's up to you like what you allow to have happen in this situation. So, you know, again, you might accept the apology and move on. You might, you know, and close out the cycle, which is what the Death card says. Uh, with the Four of Pentacles, you have the Hierophant. Uh, I like the Hierophant, but with the Four of Pentacles, it can represent uh, holding on to the way that you think things should be, right? <laughs> the Hierophant can represent inside the box thinking. And I just get the feeling on that Four of Pentacles that you could be saying to yourself like, oh, you know, if I do this much work, it should equal, you know, this much money or this much su success, but like it doesn't, right? And so I think the problem is needing to think outside the box and um, needing to break free from some traditions, like even me, right? Like my routine has become a tradition now. And maybe it would be a good idea for me to try something else. Maybe it would be a good idea for me to do, you know, eight readings a day and work only, you know, whatever. I don't know what the math on that is. Three days a week or something like that. <laughs> if I did eight a day, I could work three days a week, right? And maybe it would be a good idea for me to mix up the tradition. So, you know, if you have any, you know, quote unquote traditions in your life that you've been doing for a long time and things haven't changed in your life. So this is what's important. And I tell people this all the time. 
And what you need to look at is what you've been doing. And are you getting a better result? If the answer is no, then it's time for change, right? And so I think that's what the Hierophant is really talking about. It uh, could also be love, like I said. So if you're attracting love, look, you, you have you basically have the angel and the devil here. With the nine of pentacles, you have the devil. So again, if you're attracting love, I do feel you could be attracting a new person over here um, that is maybe wants marriage. Um, the devil is showing up on this nine of pentacles and there could be, you know, this kind of says to me, that there are limiting beliefs that are preventing the Nine of Pentacles in your life, right? And I think you could easily have it. So the Nine of Pentacles is all about your environment, like we said with the snail. And I think the devil is saying it would be a great time for you to put to rest with the death card going up this way, uh, those limiting beliefs where you tell yourself you, you can't do something, you're not good enough, um, you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, we also have the King of Wands here, and the King of Wands would be about like being more confident in yourself or believing in yourself more, and I think that would be a great idea. Uh, next, you have uh, in the area of messages from your future self, you have this Courage card. Well, there you go. <laughs> it says, boost your courage so you can put yourself out there in a big way. Yes, definitely with that King of Wands. I think you need to put yourself out there. You have this Blessed Ideas card. It says, allow your ideas to come to fruition, and they will bring many blessings. Yes, I think you don't realize that your ideas are what the world needs right right now and putting your ideas out into the world, uh, they are going to be more successful than you think. I think part of the problem for Pisces as well, and again, this is not intuitive. That's why I said I think, right? Uh, I think I think part of the problem here is that, um, you know, it's like there might be a lot of competition or, you know, if, you, if you're like starting a business, there might be a lot of people who are doing what you, you are doing, or there might be a certain way people do what you want to do. And it's kind of like you're putting yourself inside that box, but you're outside the box. And I think you need to have the confidence to realize that like the results you're going to get on whatever this idea is are going to be like way more than a normal person. So that's that should give you the confidence uh, to get started with this energy for sure. Uh, you have the Six of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. I, I feel like a lot of people could be interested in you at this time. Again, this first like week or so of September, I feel there could be a lot of interest in you, Pisces. So, you know, again, I would get out there. I kind of feel like a past person you know, I, I don't really read the Six of Cups as a past person. To me, it can represent thinking about the past, but it doesn't really represent a past person coming coming back. I know everybody reads it that way, but um, sorry, that's not really what it represents. And, you know, it can represent thinking about it, but that's it. And, um, you know, what I would say here is I do feel like a past person could be thinking about some of you. Uh, I also feel this could be a new person, though. You know, this can represent a soulmate. And we see like a soulmate here, King and Queen of Cups showing up in this reading. Uh, it could be another water sign or someone with water in their chart. Could be water and fire. You get fire with me a lot um, as well, which is weird. Although, you know, the funny thing is I have a ton of Pisces friends and they are all with fire signs practically, almost almost every single one of them. So, you know, again, it is, it is funny. I, I feel like sometimes Pisces is, you know, very attracted to fire uh, for whatever reason. I have like 10 friends that all are with Aries for whatever reason as well. So, and I'm sure some of you are listening and can, and can back me up on this, but, um, you know, Pisces is always attracted to Aries. Uh, so again, I think that could be a fire sign, could just be a person with fire in their chart. I also feel this is, and you know, the reason I think Pisces is attracted to fire signs is because fire signs are like initiators. And so it's like sometimes Pisces has a harder time initiating their ideas, right? And so it's like, that's probably why you're attracted to the fire energy. But, you know, even outside of love, I think this week would be a great week for you to hit the go button, right? To initiate whatever it is that you're thinking of creating and be bold, be assertive. Uh, you have the eight of wands. This is like your future self saying that things are going to happen much faster than you think. So it's like you will find progress much faster than you think if you get started. Eight of wands could also represent like communication or good news. And I kind of feel that, that there could be some good news coming in for you. Uh, with the Six of Cups, you have the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands just tells me that out with the old, in with the new. So I think that if you're attracting love, definitely a new person. I feel like there's a lot of attraction here, but like in a different way. You know, it's, it's weird how I feel about this. It's like, it, it, you know, like, like I always say, it's like maybe you're more attracted to like the bad boy or the bad girl. <laughs> and it's like this person is like nice, you know, it, it's like that type of difference. I think you're attracted to them, but I think also what I'm picking up off the reading is that, you know, this person... It is not the usual thing that you would go for, right? And so, but again, I think there's plenty of desire, plenty of attraction. It's probably good for you anyway, right? Uh, with the King of Wands, you have the Chariot. Victory could be a Cancer uh, that some of you are attracting here as well. Could be like a Cancer with Fire, Fire with Cancer, whatever. Uh, the Chariot is a victory though. And the Chariot is, what do you know? 
The chariot is about setting yourself apart. He is leaving the city behind and behind, and he's being led in a new direction. And so I think for a lot of you thinking, you know, that outside the box thinking or not being afraid to be different is the thing that you kind of need to do here with the chariot is like be diff be your Pisces different self, right? And I think that will lead to the most success. Uh, with the Eight of Wands, you have the Death card. Um, you know, the Death card can represent the end of something. You know, one thing I will say is that, I've, as I've been saying for years now, uh, the, the cusp of Pluto and Capricorn is the death of establishment. 29 degrees is going to be very interesting. We are probably going to see world leader, leaders stepping down, like, th you know, things like that happening. Uh, people, you know, passing on, let's put it that way, right? I don't, I, I don't predict death. I think it's against uh, tarot ethics. But what I would say is that the king is dead underneath the death rider on the death card, and it represents the death of establishment. It basically says even kings die, even things that we think are go going to last forever don't last forever, but, you know, it gives way to the new. And the sun, is coming up right here uh, on the back of the death card between the two pillars on the moon. It's like bringing clarity to a confusing situation. Uh, Pluto at 29 in Capricorn is definitely going to bring in some clarity, let's say that. Um, next in the area of the good stuff, you have this full moon. It says forgiveness. Again, some of you could be forgiving a past situation here for sure. Uh, you have this moon mastery. It says a law of attraction. Uh, you know, again, I'm, I'm like one of those people where it's like I practice a law of attraction. I love the law of attraction. But at the same time, it's like, do I really believe that works? Well, I don't know. I, I like I feel like I have attracted things into my life. So I will say yes, right? <laughs> but to me, it doesn't matter if it works or not, right? Because to me, it makes me feel better and to do things like write affirmations every single day. That's also a part of my daily routine, right? And, um, you know, to me also, it's free right? And it changes, you know, it's changed my mindset. So whether it works or not doesn't really matter. Uh, to me personally, I think mentally it works uh, and, and that alone is worth it. So I think that for a lot of you, uh, whether you believe it or, or not, it might be a good time to like, try, you know, practice something like affirmations or scripting or whatever, um, just because of what it does for your mindset, right? Uh, next, uh, you have the death card, the queen of cups and the four of cups. The death card is a big transformation. I do feel there's going to be a big transformation this week, probably globally. So, you know, we might see some stuff go down. Uh, but also on a personal level, I think that you could be really kind of going through a big transformation or at least feeling the change in the energy this week, which is also good. Uh, you have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of I for what you know the interesting thing here as well, Pisces, is that I feel like this is the person that you're attracting. So you know I kind of feel like you are the King of Cups in this reading. And again, gender doesn't matter in tarot, right? It's not like saying this is like a woman that you're attracting. It could be whatever you want. Uh, but I do feel like you could be attracting like a very heart-based like person, a person who really follows their heart. And uh, again, I think the two of you could be a dynamic duo. So, <laughs> you know, if you're looking for love, this definitely could be a good connection. Uh, you have the Four of Cups. Four of Cups is about having been disappointed in the past before. And, um, but again, he's receiving this new offer. So, and it's coming up in the good stuff. So I feel like there could be a really solid uh, new love offer coming in for you that you are more than happy uh, to accept into your life. So that looks really, really good. Uh, with the death card, you have the King of Pentacles. Yeah, King of Pentacles is also a card of wealth. The other thing I love about this is that you have the queen and king of pentacles. So you have two divine counterparts, but I think this is just one person. You know, I think this could be a very like grounded, stable connection, but also like a deep emotional connection as well. So I feel this is describing, um, you know, how this relationship is. Um, I personally do not like the king and queen of pentacles on their own. It's not that they're bad. They, it, they can still be good, right, on their own. Uh, but usually they just lack a little bit, bit of spice that a relationship requires. And, um, but what I would, would say is you have the page of wands, ace of wands, plus these two, plus the king of wands. You know, I think this is going to be plenty spicy. Uh, with the queen of cups, you have the three of swords. Healing, you know, again, in the area of the good stuff, this would literally represent forgiveness. Those swords are in your own heart. And the Three of Swords is about um, removing those swords from your heart so that you can heal. And again, it's coming, and the, the Queen of Cups represents your heart. She follows her heart. So I think a lot of you could be healing this week as well or closing out a healing. Uh, with the Four of Cups, you have the Judgment card. Uh, judgment is about waking up to your true purpose. Yeah, this is going to be a good week for you, Pisces. I think that you are getting ready to like immerse yourself into a new life with that Immerse card. And the Judgment card, these people, it's like you're finally closing out a cycle is what I feel in this reading. And, and I feel you feel it as well. But these people are rising up 
out of these coffins. The coffin represents their old life. Outside the coffin represents their new life. So it's like they're stepping into um, a new life, and it's coming up in the good stuff, which, of course, is good. Um, and, uh, yeah, this looks pretty good to me. Let's see. Uh, you have this resourcefulness card. Everybody gets the resourcefulness card whenever <laughs> I use this deck. You have the Queen of Pentacles. She is a card of resourcefulness. I think you are building wealth, though. You have that King of Pentacles, which is building wealth. And, you know, of course, continue to be resourceful. Knight of Swords, don't waste money. Make sure you're purchasing things that you actually need. Make sure you're getting a good deal. But, you know, again, I would be resourceful. Uh, but money looks good. I think there's some sort of change going on here. Uh, you have this companionship card. Yes, um you know, kind of like very, um, very like, this is like a friendly type of connection as well. This is not, you know, this is more than just a lover that you are attracting. I think this is like, you know, much deeper, someone that's like truly a friend. And, um, you know, again, it looks really good to me. Uh, let's see. Uh, next you have this decision card. Yes. Choice to be made between your old life and your new life. So obviously I would, you know, immerse yourself in the unknown because that's where all the success is going to come from. It's like if Pisces stays in the same life that they have right now, it's like things are just going to stay the same. If, if you immerse yourself into the unknown, then who knows what heights you could reach, right? Uh, you have this egotism card. I would be careful of anyone who has an ego. Mars retrograde year, anytime you have Mars retrograde years, e even though it's not until the end of the year, it doesn't matter. I think that, you know, people with big egos can, you know, cause problems. Uh, you have the seduction card. Yeah, definitely really good love stuff going on here. So I feel like someone, you know, is going to seduce you or you're going to seduce someone. Who knows? But uh, this looks really, really good, Pisces. Love it. Uh, thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.